Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So what I'm going to do is show you now is how I use the controller in Delta Force. Um, the fourth wall is the movement as you know, the left six, the right six is the one that moves your character. A is to jump over a mantle, over obstacles or climb up walls. B is to crouch. If you hold B, you'll actually go prone as well. <coughs> and then Y is kind of your interact button, but I'll get more into that now in a bit. So the aim is just left trigger, right trigger shoot, X is to reload. And if you hold X, it checks your weapon. Like that. So it came with the shooting, your left looking left. So if you double tap up on the D-pad, it zooms in and out on your scope. Like that. <coughs> and then also, um, if you press up once, it switches between your firing mode, between force, single or full auto, depending on the weapon you have. Also then when you're aiming down the scope, or if you're aiming down any type of red dot sight, or or any type of scope while you're aiming if you click on the right stick he bends and leans right and the same when you bend left and click on the left stick and he does the same thing so i have it as a toggle so so i find it easier doing it that way but you can actually have it in the menu if you want to have it as hold or toggle it'll work both ways um, <coughs> then to switch weapons i press right on the d-pad for my pistol and then left on the d-pad to get back to my weapon. Another thing as well, if you double tap the D-pad, he'll drop either ammo or, um, well, I'd normally be a medic, so he'll either drop ammo or he'll drop uh, a medical pack for everyone to get either a refill of health or a refill of ammo. So it all depends really, but that's your kind of, your gadget button. Um, if you hold down the D-pad, then it brings up the command list where you can ask for uh, reconnaissance or like armored vehicles or like um, anything to strike. Um, also, if you're playing in the extraction mode if you hold down on the d-pad what will happen is a radio will show up and i'll show a few screenshots as well but, um, a radio will show up and you can then use the left stick then to select your health or bandages or whatever else you need for first aid now of course each uh, specialist or that's what you want to call a class is different so obviously each of the buttons do different things depending on what you're using so for me i use the medic so all i do is i tap lb and you'll get the smoke drones and then you just press the right trigger to shoot them and if i double tap he'll automatically throw smoke grenades and it should be the same for your class as well and uh, with the medic now to get the gun out to heal people you just tap rb and then if you hold rb he'll actually heal himself and then there's another tactical device where you double tap rb which i think is actually for the extraction mode again which should bring out the crossbow um i'll probably have to double check that later but i think that's what it is so they're the four main kind of uh, gadgets that you have on offer Um, now when it comes to the extraction mode there's a few things left in it um, I use the right stick to kind of navigate through the, the backpack or when I'm looting now to start off to loot, sorry when you start off to looting I have to use tap Y which is your interact button um, so once you tap Y and you start to loot the loot box will open up and you'll see what you, it, the game will automatically search for you and it'll show you what's in the chest rig or the backpack and that so what I normally do is just flick the right stick over to what I want to pick up and I'll just double tap the right trigger and it'll automatically throw it into your backpack or your chest rig depending on the space you'll see if you want to be a bit more finicky with you can actually hold the right trigger and just drag all the items over to the box or your bag or chest whatever way you want to do it now while we're still in um sorry <coughs> while we're still in the actual extraction mode <coughs> yeah sorry so when you're in the extraction mode you'll come across these safe as a lock boxes that require a password um, and what happens is you'll get rotating numbers so to stop them actually rotating and land on the green all you have to do is just hit the A button at the right time and then unlock everything and then you can just loot and search like we did previously with the F button and double tap on the right trigger <coughs> now like I said the F button or, or the Y button on your controller and um, it'll probably show up as uh, F on the screen but when you press Y that's your interact button like I said if we're in extraction mode it's to loot but if you're back playing uh, Havoc Warfare like the battlefield mode when you actually hold Y near someone that's downed you'll actually revive them and if you double tap Y yeah, you can actually pick up people and kind of carry them as well like so that's just other things but it's all it's all contextual anyway so um, it all depends on like what game mode you're playing or whereabouts on the battlefield so either tap Y uh, to interact with things hold y to revive people or double tap y um but it's kind of fairly intuitive i need only get used to and as you've seen like um 
I'm going to put up the sensitivities now on the screen and these are just the sensitivities that I've been using um, you may want to kind of alter them slightly for your own kind of gameplay um, I kind of I find a bit of a bloody figure like it's kind of annoys me a bit but um, there's no kind of actual ADS like aiming sensitivity and hip fire sensitivity they all seem to be kind of amalgamate in together now now you can kind of change the sensitivities per scope but I even found then when you're using controller like if you judge the hip fire it'll actually affect the scope as well which is a bit of a pain in the backside where other games like that don't have aim assist like say like PUBG or Rainbow Six or any type of those games unless you alter them um, differently but in this one it doesn't for some reason so I don't know why but hopefully they might actually change that in an update but um, if they don't obviously the game is going to have full control to support that anyway but this is just kind of temporary for if you need it like but um, it should do enough and you should be able to play the game fairly kind of handy enough with a controller anyway uh, sorry i'm kind of rambling a bit but anyway sorry about that uh, yeah so if you enjoyed the video just leave a comment down below um i don't i'll try and update the setup as i go and trying to fiddle about with the sensitivities trying to get a bit more better Um, if there's anything else you think i may have forgotten in relation to the control setup and how it works and um, just drop a comment down below and i'll add something in the comments or i'll just do a refresh of video um, what I'll also do is I use a software called Rewas, which a lot of you probably already know from my Arena Breakout Infinite video. Um, so what I'll do is I'll actually leave the link to where you can actually download the config yourself, and all you have to do is just import it into Rewas, and then it should automatically pick it up in the game once you turn it on. Um, Alright, like I said, uh, if you need any questions or any help, just give me a shout in the comments down below, and I really appreciate it. Just a job, boy, and I hope you all have a great day. Cheers, thanks very much.